Adobe Audition is an industry standard recording software which can be used to record and manipulate voices. So over here, you're looking at the interface of Adobe Audition itself. And over here, you can see that on the left side, this is where all my file goes. So you can create your folder and accumulate your data over here. There's a media browser over here, which is used to browse for different media. So if you want to import your music uh, you, or your soundtrack, then you can use the media browser to import the ones you like. This is where all of the history and the video tab is also available over here. Over here, if you want to edit uh, your sound for a particular video and history collects all of the things that you actually uh, do over here. So if you want to revert back into something, then you can just choose from the history menu. Over here, there's the effect rack where you can add in different effects to the sound. There are markers for different mar markers right here and the properties panel right here. Over here in the favorites, you can add in the, your favorite, uh, favorite knee or uh, favorite uh, effects right here and then use it just like that. So over here, this is the main area where you will be working. And over here on the side, you can also access the mixer. You'll see this once you import the audio. Over here on the right side, there are essential sound options, which we're going to work um, in with later. You can also edit audio to video, also radio production. If you were to click this, you get more options for these just like this. This is the default view as you can see. Edit audio to video, so this interface pops up. While radio production, if you're working solely with recording and effects, then this is actually something you can use. So let us just import an audio and see how it looks. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go into my browser and I'm going to go into my TutorTube folder right here. So inside of TutorTube, I got my audio folder where I got a lot of options. So I'm simply going to drag this in onto my file section right here. And you can see the audio loads, double click it, and here you go, here's the editor. The mixer still doesn't show um, anything because it just works with a multi-track session. So we're going to see more of this in further lessons to come. So I hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.